Hello my friends and welcome to this video about the Arkham FMJ-17. FMJ stands for Full Metal Jacket. I'm not kidding you, that's what it means. It means that the whole thing is made of metal and, uh, and provides a shield. Um, it is a typical uh, Arkham, but of course the, the fault is less than typical. Um, well, let, let me first uh, talk about the fault before I tell you about the um, the player. I've received it from a collector in Melbourne who said that, you know, it works fine, but the tray doesn't open and close. Well, I thought to myself, well, how hard can it be? I mean, tray, that's, that's as easy as you can get with CD players. And, um, and I spent half a day on it, and it's still not fixed. You see, first you have to first you have to deal with uh, it tells you CD text and tells you the album. And I digress now, but this is what is Mahandra is a dish. It's an album uh, made by local percussionists, and there's a recipe for the dish, so you can copy it and, and make it. It's a really good dish. My wife asked me once what I want for dinner, and I said, "Well, that is what I want," and it was very good. Although a bit uh, time consuming. Uh, coming back to the player, um, as I always say, you have to fix mechanics before you get to uh, electronics. And this is uh, what I've done or I've tried to do. So, um, and I didn't think there was anything wrong with electronics. Um, I'll decide the title track. So, um, I was working for half a day trying to get it right. At the heart of all those loaders is a big gear which sort of forms like a, it's like a C, or it's a round thing, but, but the teeth are only where the C is. So on this distance here, it doesn't have any teeth. Let me turn it down a bit. So what happens is when it loads, it leaves that uh, part with no teeth um, to engage the rack and then it brings up the mechanism towards the uh, bridge with the puck. So, and the same thing when the motor drives it the other way, the mechanism goes down so that the tray can come out and, uh, and it uses that, you know, part of the driving wheel with no teeth here and then engages the tooth and and the thing, damn thing is that you have to get it really right if it, if you're one tooth out it will just not engage on either way so I just I, I was pulling my hairs out but that's done that doesn't mean that the player is done as you see um, it goes in but doesn't go out, but we'll come back to that. But let me talk about the player. It's a typical Arkham. Arkham's are known for two things. They develop with DCS the ring deck, and, uh, and four of their players actually have ring deck on board. This is one of them. This has a Wolfson deck, I think uh, 85, 41 or something like that, 24-bit deck. Plain vanilla KSS 213C um, laser mechanism, but Arkham know something about driving or, or reading CDs that others do not. Some of their players can read CDs, or I mean any CD, at 25 microwatts, whereas normal players need 100 or 200 or even 300, like some Philips-based ones. This doesn't do uh, 25 microwatts, but there's 50, so it's still half the power of others. So obviously they do it fine. They, you know, have a choke there, and, and there is uh, another probably choke on those incoming power lines. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven regulators that I can see. So, you know, that's good amount clean board, you know, power supply on one side, then audio and all the servo on the left side and audio, all the audio is there. 
and their power supply is to the right side. So it's you know good topology. Um, and uh, it is very competent. It's very competent. It's uh, I think in 2000s, made in 2008 or 9. So it's a fairly modern player. Um, so let me now come to <laughs> to the fault. You know, the fault is not mechanical, it's electrical. But I'm beginning to be a big fan of Alcam. And the reason for this is that this being electrical fault, I, because I was fairly certain I got the mechanics right, and I said, well, I'll have to look for the diagram. So I looked up, and here it is. And you would want to know, you know, where did you get that diagram? Look at this, I don't know if you can see it. Arcan.co.uk. They just publish all their diagrams. It's the first time that I see that ever. I mean, big kudos to them, you know, instead of trying to scrunch them and asking forums and searching for hours. I mean, what do they have to lose? I mean, I'm not going to copy that. I'm not going to start making CD players, you know. So, uh, and by the time somebody would copy it, you know, they'd probably make another one. So, um, so that I'm very happy about. And of course, I've uh, downloaded it, and 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 it's it's well, it is done with. Um, uh, with the CAD program, so it's not really uh, a, a nicely hand drawn as um, uh, you know as they do with uh, hand drawn ones like Sony does in, in all players. But still, what can you expect these days? So, as you've seen, the try goes in, it doesn't go out. Well, so I have the diagram, but things are actually not that easy because all the markings on plugs and sockets and on ICs are different <laughs> on the board and are different on the diagram. Well, I won't bore you with the actual things, you know, but uh, that IC is U102, whereas in here is, um, I think, uh, C200 or something, IC200, yeah, it's it's called IC200 here on the board, if I can point the camera, IC200, whereas in here it says U102, so it's a completely different designation, but, but still, it's all there, so I mean better that than nothing. So um, that's where the problem is, and if you don't believe me, I've never done this before, I'll try to do it now, I'll do a stop and open as you see nothing happens so let me mount the camera on the tripod for for this thing i need two hands and what we need to do is unplug that plug this is the one that drives the um the tray put uh, a couple of leads on it okay just runs away. I've done it many times before, but and there you are. The tray goes.